Rod. Tonight in high school baseball, our game of the night, Ames and Ankeny. Game scoreless in the second. Brian Hansen smacks a two-run homer over the center field fence. 340 feet. Ames led two to nothing. But the fireworks fire from over third inning. Ames third baseman Mark Pullman cracks his first round tripper of the season. Another two-run blast. Ames pitcher Matt Smalling allowed only two hits while shutting out Ankeny tonight. 10-0 the final in five. And five playing host to Ames. Now Ames second. Brian Hansen lays down a perfect squeeze bunt. But who Memory of Ames in? drives in Jason Bennett on the sacrifice fly in the sixth. That made it 3-1. The little Cyclones go on to upset number five Hoover 4-1. But in the nightcap, the Huskies played like mad dogs. In the fourth, Brandon Pinnegar rips a two-run homer to right field. Hoover on top 7-0. The very next batter to step to the plate was Kevin Mann. He cranks one over the left field fence. It was an 8-0 ball game. Hoover wins the nightcap 8-1. Well, what started out as the 23rd of Mana via Ames Little Cyclones. Imagine hitting three homers in one game. Our high school athlete of the week did just that. And as 5 TV's Rod Bothole reports, this young man is quite a star. Darren Pohar got off to a slow start this season, but like our summer weather, the Ames shortstop has caught fire in recent weeks. During his hot streak, Darren has moved into double figures in home runs, highlighted by a three-homer game against Des Moines East. That game was one in a million. I, I don't know what came over me that game. I got a little lucky. got the pitches I wanted. But overall, my batting has improved. I'm looking, I'm looking more for the hits than home runs. Darren's always been an outstanding hitter, an outstanding feeler, an outstanding base runner for us. He's just an outstanding ball player with a great future, and uh, he just continues to improve with each game. That bright future includes playing Division I baseball, and after considerable debate, he chose to stay in Ames and play at Iowa State. It's going to be great, I think. I mean, a lot of people will be able to see me that I know, and I've watched Iowa State baseball throughout the years, so it's something I'll enjoy a lot. And you can bet the people of Ames will enjoy keeping a close eye on his college career. Congratulations and best of luck to Darren Pohar of Ames. Final score 10 to 1, but it was Monty Muller and Brian Hansen that had three hits in the game to key the little cyclone attack. Co-stars in Little Nikita. Sunday at 8, Harrison Ford gets caught up in the high-stakes world of international.